Hello, this is Tim. Today we will talk about the airplane's belly landing. What does a belly landing mean? When an aircraft lands on its fuselage, also called as belly, and not on its wheels or landing gear. In a normal landing, as the aircraft comes into land, the landing gears are extended while descending, and the airplane can land safely on the runway. The airplane's movement on the ground is done with the landing gear. In case of a belly landing, the landing gear would not have extended, causing the airplane to land on its fuselage. This will result in severe damage to the fuselage and the engines. There are different reasons for a belly landing. One could be because of a mechanical fault with the landing gear, which means the gear did not extend properly. Or it could be a pilot's fault where the pilot forgets to extend the landing gear. To look at the mechanical fault, we should understand the retraction and the extension of the landing gear can be done hydraulically or using electrical motors. A hydraulic fault may be due to low pressure of the hydraulics or low quantity of the hydraulic fluid. An electrical fault may be due to fault with the motor or if the link with the landing gear is damaged. This will affect the landing gear operation. For hydraulic or electrical faults, it is not necessary to go for a belly landing. There is usually an alternate method to extend the landing gear. Before looking at the alternate method to extend the landing gear, we need to understand how the landing gear is held inside the aircraft. There are up locks that lock the landing gear inside the aircraft. A separate lever is usually provided to release the up lock and allows the landing gear to fall due to gravity and the aerodynamic forces. If the uplock does not disengage, the alternate method of extension also fails. Usually several attempts are made to extend the landing gear before deciding to do a belly landing. A pilot fault is when the pilot forgets to extend the landing gear. When the aircraft descends, different checklist items need to be performed, which includes the landing gear extension. But even if the pilot missed the step, and the aircraft descends without the landing gear extended, then alerts are triggered in the cockpit to warn the pilots that the gear is not extended. These alerts are called as GPWS alerts. In case of a mechanical fault and the failure of the alternate gear extension, a belly landing becomes unavoidable. So now let's look at the belly landing procedure. To do a belly landing, the pilot needs to maintain wings level and hope there are no crosswinds. Just before the fuselage touches the runway, the speed should be reduced as low as possible and the engine should be shut down. This is because when the fuselage touches the runway, the engine will also hit or strike the runway and could lead to a more severe disaster. Here the passenger safety becomes a priority. A belly landing can cause severe damage to the fuselage and the engines, which are usually not recoverable and it could also lead to injury to the passengers. To reduce the damage, several attempts are made in the normal extension and the alternate extension of the landing gear. Even if one of the landing gears gets extended, it should be used during the landing, so that the damage to the aircraft is reduced and it increases the safety.